want to get on with my life. You and I no longer have anything. Please, I beg you, take your bright price back. Every single time I wanted to talk to you about anything, the only thing I got was uh, embarrassment. Mixed with some threats and a healthy dose of your nasty attitude. So, why should I even listen to you in the first place? Oh yeah, man. We've been standing here for two hours, talking about the same thing. I'm not shouting. I'm begging you. Please. How did we ever have to beg before anything? Never. I gave you all. My body. My soul. My arm. Spat on the very essence of my soul, my being. And then you ask me to listen to you. Is this a joke? I'm getting married. Really? If you don't take it back, <laughs> this marriage will not hold when you It's okay. Just tell your mother to drop a bit with my mother in the village. I hope that uh, plays everything out. You're not dead, you're alive. All of a sudden, it's very convenient for you to acknowledge my existence. I'm alive. Let me alone. You abandoned a one-year old child. Think about that. Please, I don't know you to be heartless. Or he. I've tried everything, Chief, but he has refused. He's very heartless. Do you think uh, he still has an interest in marriage? Ah, oh, Chief, no, no. Is he not the one that drove me away and collected my son? He said I ruined his life. Look at how he's treating me now. First, and let's see how big the young tender develops. Wow. Um, I think uh, your wife is an epitome of uh, virtue. Ah, well. I, this life, I can't understand. You know, I have three sons and two daughters. I know. My sons follow the root of their wicked mother. But thank God. Daughters are my only consolation. Hey, but not uh, better a wicked son than none. I don't. You won't understand. But I still think you consider adoption as I suggested to you earlier. God forbid. Eh? The gods forbid that. It's good now. Uh, God forbid. I forbid it. My ancestors forbid it. I, I Chief Nkenefuna, Okim Dilim, adopt. He does not beget my status. Besides, I want my own blood on the seat in my empire when I'm gone. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Ah. Bear in mind that delay is not denier. I know. I know you want to make her your, your wife soonest. First thing first.
Good afternoon, ma. Thank you. Ma'am, who is the person that you can have? Mama, always impatient. Uh, you know your mother. Mama, ma. This is Princess Oluchi. The woman that is going to be my wife. My daughter, is it true? Uh, yes. Hey! Oh. Yeah, 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 I just finished speaking with them, Dr. Stevens. Now, what was that nonsense he was telling me? I, I, I can, I can see. Uh, you see what? You see, eh? You see your life. You see your life. Idemaka, I have spent six million naira for medical bills, both at National Hospital Abuja and abroad, to get to the best gynecology and deal with this family planning issue. I don't know what you do with the money. Hmm? In spite of all the advice, warnings, you got pregnant. So, you want the father to play on my neck? He can, I can explain. Explain what? Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Have faith that God will still give me another child. This time, male. So, I couldn't destroy what makes me a woman. Ah. Madam Dictionary. Okay, I know. So, you, you want your father to be at my neck? Because you know that he will blame me if anything happens to you. You know that? Ah, you see, you did not only deceive me. You have taken me for a long ride. A very long ride. And I'm telling you, I'm tired of that. It's enough and it will stop tonight. So I've made up my mind that tonight you will pack your load and go to the family house. Yes, please. Please. Remember how we started? Have I forgotten? How can I forget? He used to be very, very honest, loyal. Faithful, but since you follow this, your pack of this, your pack of lies and uh, deceit, I don't understand you anymore. So I've made up my mind that today you will pack a load and return to your parents' house. Please, please don't do this to me. You, it's me. Don't do this. Look at me. It's me. It's uh, me. Uh, uh. In the America, please. God bear me witness. Uh -huh. You are going to your parents' house uh -huh. on the next available flight. Ah, uh -huh. please. you here because I want you to live here with me. Chief, but what about your wife and children? I have sent them back in. It's all for you. Hey Chief, what will people say of me? What would they think of me? Let's just explain. Don't ever think about what people will say. Think about us. See? It is not that I cannot afford to rent an apartment for you somewhere. But I don't want that. I don't want somebody to be at home and be worrying and nagging me about not coming home in time or even when I don't want to come back home at all. When I want to spend time with you. Hmm? I want you with me 24 7. Hmm? That's why I love you, Chief. I love you so much, my dear. Come on, let's go inside. More surprises for you. Let's go today. Let's go in. More surprises, eh? <laughs> Your taste. 
Wait, watch. Oh, my dear, I enjoyed it. You know, I just love everything about you, my sweet 16. <laughs> ah, you said there's good news. Guess. That only my boy. Yes, I agreed to take back his dowry. No, no, Chief. And then what is it, my angel? But, um, you are smiling, so you can't be hungry. <laughs> mm, rest your humor, Chief. It's there. What's that? Are you pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are pregnant. Yes, Chief. <laughs> come, come, come. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God, I'm so overjoyed. Oh, I just love you, my sweet sixteen. Um, uh, you know what? Um, a brand new car for you. Chief, I already have a car. Am I complaining? Huh? See, just give me a son, and the whole world is there for you to take. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Joel! Joel, open the gate! Look at. I know I'm here. Go girls! Wow! I'm ready! Go. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. You've You're made welcome. my day. You're welcome. <laughs> Amanda, you are in heaven. I mean, heaven on earth. Jeez. My dear, that is an understatement. This is paradise. No, no. Amanda's in Wonderland. Oh, Wait till you see the rest. So come you with me. They are hot. You are not. They are hot. Oh my God. They are hot. You are not. They are hot. You're not, she's hot. Oh my she's god. She's hot. What You're not, not she's hot. Hot like fire. Hot like fire. My dear, you're enjoying. I can see why you forgot us so soon. <laughs> Settling down wasn't easy. I can tell you. It's not easy. I, it's not exactly what I expected out of marriage. Manda, you still smoke? He doesn't know. What about his wife? What's that supposed to mean? Am I not his wife? I wonder. What? But. Or you mean the other woman? Yeah. He sent her packing. For Mandas. Are you serious? Oh, darling, everything is working out for you. I beg, no forget me, oh man. No forget me. No, no me. forget me. Okay. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you know, Chief is such a wonderful man. I don't know, he's tremendous. He he treats me like this princess who shouldn't, you know. Oh. Well, you know, he just, I don't know, he just, I'm gay. Chief showers me with gifts. Oh. You know what? Chief! 
Amanda. Chief. What is going on here? Ah, Chief. It's just my friends. They just came to visit. Just visit him. Come and see me now. Okay, Chief. sent his wife packing because of Amanda. Hmm. He did not say anything. Chief. Chief. Hey, you, you, you. Now get up and get out of my compound. Wait. Amanda, what's the problem? Oh, I don't know, Chief. Chief. Now, Chief. You don't want me to let the dogs loose on you, do you? What's the meaning of all that? What's the meaning of that? Wait! Wait! Wait now! Wait now, please, wait, wait. What? What for? So that was why you asked us here, right? No. To embarrass us? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, girls. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't envy you at all, okay? Please, let's, let's just go. go. Let's go, please. Jess, peace. Oh, Chief. Oh, Chief. Oh, Chief. What was the name of that embarrassing outside? No, that was because I don't want my wife mingling with those wayward girls that can corrupt you or even mislead you. Those girls were there long before I met you, long before I moved in here. That they belong in your past and they should stay there. Oh my, I don't believe you. I will not subscribe to this rubbish. Amanda, I sent my wife and children packing because of you, to make you happy. Now why can't you just do this for me? Why not? If you wanted me to dismiss them and the more civilized manners in which we have done it, rather than being so barbaric. Oh. Listen, uh, Amanda, I did not mean to be barbaric, okay? But it is just that I don't want those girls interfering with our relationship. I, I want us to be happy together. See, I want you to be happy. Really? Yes. Then, it has got to be my way. Yeah, yeah, Amanda. Yeah, yeah, Sunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is a day of joy to me and my family. Whatever brings joy to my daughter, that I will always do. Wherever she finds joy, there I am. Only my hair brings so much joy to my daughter, Princess Oluji. Who am I to stop her happiness? Therefore, I, his Royal Majesty, the Obi of Obadu Kingdom, refer to Onwara as my in-law, as I wait for them to come for further marriage rights. Um, Lord, please bring my princess. Behold the princess of Obado Kingdom Follow Chele Mema Ugo Naya The Royal Eagle Sweet princess Oluchi Ele Mokwe My princess Yes sir Do you know this young man here? Yes 
he is here to ask for your hand in marriage. I know you are in agreement. Yes, Daddy. Good. Please, greet them. Girls, I am so sorry. I'm honestly, I'm so ashamed of how my husband treated you guys. I am so sorry. Okay. You really need to be sorry. I said you need to be sorry, my dear Mrs. To be. What do you mean, Mrs. To be? <sighs> Let me educate you. Has he properly married you? No. And all he does is dismiss your friends and you just stand there and watch him you couldn't even stand up to him but i did babes i did i even had a brawl with him after you guys left <laughs> did you hear that we even had a brawl after you guys left in bed of course jessica enough of that insult jessica you don't talk to me like that have you heard me don't talk to me like that you think you can intimidate me Hey, hey, hey. See Amanda. Oh. See Amanda. You don't forget that I know you in and out. You don't forget. I mean because you did drive car for this school anyhow. Don't talk to me like that. Oh. Don't you ever in your life. Don't try it. I see you have become very jealous. This, darling, is just the beginning. Come, Amanda. Don't walk out on your friends, okay? I wasn't walking. I wasn't walking. I'll see you then. We shall see. Nothing, girls. Nothing mega. That was very bad. Excuse me, Jai. What's <gasps> that? Just <laughs> talk it personal. Please, please, please. What is it? Anyway, it's just the spot of the moment. Let's say something more serious. When is Chief coming to take us out? My dear Chief is not coming again. You remember those new guys I told you of now? Those money bags. That is where we will be milking. Those guys have money. They have to eat <laughs> it for them. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I want you now. I want you. We get happy. You know what drives me to Hey. <laughs> um, I've been having running stomach since yesterday. That oh, noodle was like oh. it. It's been disturbing me. Usually happens though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. You'll be fine. Better be fine, though, please, so that we can go out. <laughs> they are hot. You are not. They are hot. Oh my God. They are hot. You are not. They are hot. Same. She's hot. You are not. She's hot. You're not, she's hot. Hot like fire, hot like fire, hot like fire. Hot like fire, hot like fire, hot like fire. They are hot, you're not, they are hot. Oh my god. They are hot. Ay! Jess! Yes. Mm -hmm. Tommy. Ah! Wait, I'm coming just a minute, okay? Hurry up. Yeah, my 
Very serious. <sighs> All right. Okay. I'll see you when you come back. Take care of yourself. Oh. Okay. Have fun. I want you guys to clear this place. Construct a grave. Make sure it's deep. Okay, okay. Did you get me? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are they still lodged here? Wow, they have checked out. Jesus, and she didn't say anything to you at all? Not at all. Good. Okay, let me just see a friend and talk to her, okay? Yes, darling. I've just come from the ultrasound. Yes, I've done the scan. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> just for you, darling. It's a boy. Mm. Okay, I'm on my way home.
Lord and my God, I come before you in all humility. Lord, and I take solace in your word, which say that you have set me above nations this day, above kingdoms, Lord, to uproot, to pull down, to destroy that which is not of you, Lord. Therefore, this moment, Father, Lord God, I take authority on your word, Lord, and I said at this time, this strange woman in my house, Lord, shall never be a fruit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every fruit that shall come out of her, Lord, such a fruit shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you said that I am I am your chosen. Father, Lord God, when you gave me my husband, you said that a man shall leave his family and cleave unto his wife. Therefore, what you, Lord, have joined together, let no man put asunder. Therefore, my Lord and my God, he came with nice, my husband, and no woman shall take him away from me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I claim what rightfully is mine. I claim what belongs to me, Lord. This moment, I send you angels of God to go and fight my battle. Fight my battle. I release the fire of God upon every strange woman in that house. Every strange woman. I release the fire of God. Now you have graduated to uh, the mother of my son. <laughs> hey, tell me now, where do you want me to build your mansion? Anywhere in the world. And we can start to build it right now. Oh, should I change your car? Very good. Ah, you have made me proud. Hey! Ah. Mm. Open now, my son. Welcome. Yes. You know, like I said in my office, you need to give your wife some space. You need to give her time. Abstinence is the right word. <laughs> Dr. Martin, I understand. I am not a child. Huh? A three years old burial person in a burial ground is no more a stranger to the burial ground. You know that. I know it's only one son so far, but I've been through four girls. So I'll know my woman's body. I will keep my wife some time. Maybe after one year, I'll try for another son. <laughs> Chief, it's like you don't understand me. I said you need to give her time. Abstinence. Or do you want her to die? Uh, um, 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 uh, I don't want my sister to die. Her body is not okay for that now. Due to the prolonged labor she passed through, it affected her utero. So you need to give her time. No pregnant at all. For now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
to you, sir. That's the young lady. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. You're crying. What's the matter? Father, I have a confession to make. Confession? Okay, come with me. Ah, my in-law, how are you? Yes, I know, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, wait, 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 my in-law, wait. Did you ask her why I sent her packing? No, 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 my in-law. I, I, I can never insult my in-law. I am just asking you. Did you ask Nidiamaka why her husband sent her packing? Of course I know she's heavily pregnant. I know. What you can... What would she do with the pregnancy? Give back to another of those uh, girls she, she, she always give back to. That is if she lives through it. I, I know what I'm talking. Because the doctor warned her never to do this again. But will she listen to me? She's stubborn. She disobeyed me. And she got pregnant. My, my in-law, my in-law, you are not listening to me. I'm very sure your wife obeys what you tell her to do. Hmm? Indeed, he does not listen to me. She's been stubborn. I'm very sure you will send a woman like that packing out of your house too. Well, all right. Well, that's 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 our own that's our own problem. I have no hands in whatever happens to her because I have won her. The doctor won her. She refused and she get pregnant. That is her problem. She can give back to her daughter and that girl and then uh, to hell with it. Uh, my. Can I have a wife and I cannot tell her what to do? understand why you're delaying the payment of my dowry. Oh. My sweet 16. It came in for enough of that. Enough of it. We're doing it this week. Okay. Anything for my queen. Hmm? Come, come. come give me help. <laughs> my sweet 16. Are you happy now? Yes. Well, she's upset to 
Chief. Yes. Chief. Obina. Uh, Chief. Obina. What again? What? Temperature. Mm. No, no, that's all right. I'll just get my car keys. Amanda, be quick now, you know it's a long way to your village. Hello, Chief and Kim here. Yeah, yeah. Congrats on what? What? You must be the only one who doesn't know that I have just lost my son. Which wife? What? The twins? Boys. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, I, I, I'll call you. Okay, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I'll call you. Chief, I'm ready. Amanda. Chief. Oh, my sweet 16. Hmm? I just got a call from my friend in Abuja. Hmm. He said my wife had just put to bed. <laughs> Which wife? My wife now. Chief, what about my people? My dowry. Your king's men are waiting. You're going to pay my dowry now? Chief. It's okay. That is true. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten, but you see, that one can wait. This cannot wait. I have to go and see my boys. Hmm? Listen, Amanda, please go upstairs and bring me my the top one, my brother. You know, and the matching shoes for this. Quick, quick. Oh, matching chief. shoes. Ah, ah, chief. Ah. What are you doing? Listen, I have to be on the next flight to Abuja to see my boys. Okay? Chief. I cannot waste time. I'm going on the next flight to Abuja. Chief, okay. my people are waiting. Oh. I will see them. Ah. Papa, 
that day, we waited and waited for our in-laws to come. But we did not see them. Eh, Papa, he got an urgent call from Thailand. So he had to go. Eh? Yes, but, um... Papa, he gave me this small thing to give you. He said you should just use it for palm wine and, you know. All this one for me? Yes, Papa. Thank my in-law. Tell him that I'm so happy. Papa, call on Chena. I bought some things as well. Eh? Who Chena? Who Chena? Come on, come and help me carry this thing. Hey, in-law. What you ask me for is impossible. But can be possible if you get the man to marry you. That is exactly why I'm here, Baba. He's going to bring back his former wife. Do you want her dead? Ah, no! Ah, no, Baba, I don't want her dead. I, I can't kill her. I just want Chief on my side. Even if you want her dead, you can't get her. Why? Because I see fire all around her. Yet, she could not be consumed. Come and take a look at it. Look. No, she's not an evil woman. But I'm going to work on your case for the chief to pay your dollar soon. Thank you, Baba. Chief. <laughs> Good day, Chief. Yes. Chief, I know that you are very, very angry. But please, listen to us. Please, Chief. Please. Hear us out. You see, I respect gray hair because I have it. Of course. I respect elders because I am one. True. But this person behind you, I don't want to see him at my gate, in my house. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Please. Remove this car here or I impound it. Chief. Just. Chief. My, my love. Shut up and get out here. Put this car out. Come here, please. Remove this car. Go. I don't want to see you. Get out. Previously abominable. When I see the one, I will rule you. There's nothing much we can do than to beg you to tamper justice with mercy. Please, Buko. Chief, even when he came to me with the issue of a new wife, I wasn't in support of him. How can? I knew it was something wrong to be done. Please, Chief, I am begging you. Make peace with him, please. You see, at the time, he invited some elders to go with him. We all refused mm. because it was a nice saw. Okay, I don't know one one of them. Well, 
I will sleep over it. Okay. Um, but all I want to show you as fellow elders is that your journey here today is not fruitless. Oh, good, 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 good. This is not the This This is called for celebration. as if I don't exist. It's either in did this or in did that. Oh, I exist. Only for your pleasure. You don't eat my food, you don't do anything. Was this the plan? Was this the plan, Chief? Why are you humiliating me? Why? Why? What is it that you want now? What is it? What do you want from me? You want some money? I'll give you some money. Give it to him today. It's even an open check. You can write any amount on it. Did you abandon your degree? I got married, sir. And I had a child. But he died. I've been through so much, sir. Well, the record before me shows that you have 20 something carryovers, four missing results. In fact, your case is almost impossible.
Is there nothing you can do, sir? For now, nothing. Because by the time you finish writing those missing results and numerous carryovers, years must have gone by. What should you advise I do, sir? My young lady, my advice to you is to take fresh jump. I'm sorry. I wish I, I could help you. You can see I'm very busy. Chief, Chief, why are you doing this? Why? The day you said to pay my dowry, you pushed it. Why? Why Why you say today, you say tomorrow? Chief, why? Remember you said you're a man of your words. Don't worry, Amanda. Huh? I will handle this. Hmm? I'll handle it. But let me return from my Okay. Hmm? Don't worry. Hmm? Chief! <laughs> I have told you that your case is unique. Before anything could be done for Chief to love you, you must get married to him first. Can't you make him do it? It will be done out of his own will.
money? Should I move it from the table? Auntie, should I move the food from the table? It's smelling. Auntie, get out! Mommy! Get, get out! Get out! Angel, what is it? She did what? Why did you beat my daughter? You are very stupid to ask me that question. Very stupid! I know what your problems are. But let me tell you, you are leaving this house. If not today, another day. Frustration! Oh, frustration! Frustration will kill you in this house. You are a frustrated woman! Come and push me out now. Come and drive me. Come and sweep me out. What is going on here? And what is this nasty smell? Hey! Your huh? concubine just slapped my daughter. What? You did what? I will bear you. How dare I what? How dare I what? Have you eaten my food? Since I started cooking, have you eaten my food? Do you know what it means not to eat my food? Go and eat this very food. Mm. Yes! Is, is that why you must turn my compound into a smelly place? Is that why? Eh? No, no, go to room. No. Go, 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 go. Go to room right now. Go! Woo! <laughs> go. I don't blame you. <laughs> hey! Uh, come, come now. Uh, I am taking this because of the love I have for you and because of God. I mean, no woman would take this from, this is so from a co-wife. Let alone a woman I don't even know what to call. I know. I know. I know. I know. Indeed, uh, I know. Hmm? Please. See, so this is a mistake I already made. And I know I have to correct it. And I will. Um, but uh, I need your support. Please, eh? I need your support. Okay, whatever you are doing, do it quick before I lose it. Because I have taken it oh, up to okay. here. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Eh? I will. Yeah. I will do it. Okay. Amanda. Yes. I called you here because uh, I want to discuss something of great importance with you. Hey, thank God, Chief. You finally decided to go and see my people. Uh, well, th that is something I need to do in the nearest future. But for now, I need to let you know what my plans are. Anything, Chief. Good. Anything for you. Good. That my twin duplex at uh, Ziggs Estate on household number two. I want to take over ownership immediately. Other documents and things like change of ownership, I'll do that later. What are you inferring? What are you inferring? So you have decided to throw me out of this house, right? Yourself and Nidhi have systematically schemed out a plan to throw me out of this house, my husband's house. It will never happen. It's never going to happen, you hear? Never! Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. See, they, they, I have not planned to either throw you out of the house or out of my life, systematically, like you said. No. It is just to bring peace. Okay. You have decided to throw away the baby with the bathwater so you can bring another one inside, Abby? It is never going to happen. This is my house. I'm not going anywhere. Amanda. In that case, if we need to remain here, it will be on one condition. Mm. That we put a stop to all the shoutings, the quarrels, the abusive language used in this house. You have to put a stop to all of that. Do you understand that? Mm. You talk to him, did too? Because there's no smoke without fire. Yes. Don't tell. It's been a long time. What happened? Hey, uh, married life. Just to live in that compound. 
Chidi? Yes, I, I, I am still there. Eh! Hey, so I went there the last time looking for peace and Jesso, and they told me that peace has moved. Um, yeah, I, I heard she has moved on to, what do you call it? New Cemetery, yes, New Cemetery Road. Is it that road that is around yes, that the, corner? The church, there is this big church there. Um, what do you call it? I... St. Mary's. St. Mary's, yes, St. Mary's, I suppose. St. Oh. Mary's. But just at New Cemetery, yes, New Cemetery Road. Eh. Hey. Okay, now I have to look for I really have to see her. You hear? You're looking well. But you were really carried away. That's why I came to apologize and to tell you I'm sorry. It's okay. It's really a pity what happened to Jess, you know. Amanda, if not for God, I would have been a dead person too. I guess your God wanted me to have a friend. <laughs> That's why I gave my life to Christ. Talking about marriage, I mean, Chief, how has it been? What marriage? <laughs> the marriage is a farce. Oh. How do you mean? It's non existent. Look at me now. Do I look like a married woman to you? Amanda, if you want my candid advice as a true born again, uh. quit that marriage. I mean, you cannot be married uh. to I did not come here to be chastised by you. I came here only because I thought I had a friend and I needed someone to talk to. Okay, so what do you intend to do? They say that hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I intend to get my pound of flesh and a pint of blood. Amanda, the Bible says vengeance is of the Lord. Then that same Lord should have come to save my marriage and not me now. Oh my God, oh Amanda, what have you done? Look at your life. Oh God, look at my life. Oh mom, where are you? Where are you? Why did you go so soon? Oh God. <laughs> oh God, where do I start from? My husband. He's <laughs> not even a husband. Oh, my womb. I never have children again. God, what is this? Oh, my friends, where are they? <laughs> Amanda. Ah, you will not cry for anybody. You will not cry. You'll be strong because you're a strong woman. Chief wants to dump me. That's what he's planning. 
Chief is planning to dump me. I will not let him dump me. He can never dump me. After parading me to everybody, mm -mm, it won't happen. After everything I did for him, I gave up my life. I have no certificate. Ah, oh, Chief. Ah, oh, you want to know what it's like to be a pained woman. When I release my venom, then you will know that to have the poison of a rattlesnake is no joke. Amanda, or whatever your name is, let me tell you, if not that I am a Christian, I would have dealt with you in such a way. In what way? Nidiamaka, in what way? By the time I bite you, the venom that will run through your veins, you will know how much I can how deal with you. How much what? Look at this thing with an uncertain future. Okay, you call yourself a rattlesnake, eh? Okay. But let me tell you, there is something that rot snakes and any living creature is afraid of. Which is? Fire. Amanda, by the time you jump fire, would so consume you mercilessly that your dust, I mean your dust will rise up to heaven. But the Lord's word. Do you think that I'm here exchanging words with you? You dare not touch my children again. Let's go. Look at her. You want to share my husband with me because I have kept quiet. Don't you dare me in this house again. Don't you dare me. Filter thing. Cut her. to you to 
today. Yes, please. Yes. Just stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Everything will be alright. Just put everything in the hands of God and He will do it for you. Okay. Don't cry. Oh. Stop crying, okay? Mm. Everything will be fine. Don't cry. Everything will be fine. <laughs> help! Help! Somebody help me! Help! 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 To go and look for my son. And how do you hope to go about that? My mother told me before she died that my son was taken to Lagos. And I know where well, my brother lives. And so? On my way to Lagos, I'm going. I'm going to Lagos. You have to calm down and take things easy. I mean, you have to be sure of what you want. What else am I living for? What else? I've lost everything. Everything. It's the only one I have. It's the only thing that will give me life. I need to go and look for him. I need my son back. I need my son back.
What happened? What did you do to him? I'm sorry, okay? You know what I'll do? Tomorrow I'll get you a whole packet of biscuits. Yeah, baby. That way, even if it takes one, you always have many more in the packet. Okay? Hi, sweetie. Hey, baby. How are you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you must that you've been very soon you to help me. But first of all, you need to eat all your veggies, okay? And then. Big and strong like daddy. Ah! <laughs> how are you? Who's the uh, <laughs> and how's the little big strong boy doing? Excuse me? It's a girl. Look, we have a son already. All we need is a girl. Okay. Well what do you see? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Uh, um, you know what? That uh, green toy, the one with the broken foot. Bring it for me, I need to fix it. So, that's my boy. Go! Left, right, left, right, <laughs> left, right, left, right! <laughs> right. <laughs> See, um... There's this thing I've been meaning to ask you for a long, long time. But every time I try to say it, I just develop this cold fit. Because I know that to always bring the sad memories of what happened back then at the library when we first met. I just want to ask you, why, why did you not retaliate when I slapped you at the library that day? My dear Onyema, please do not tear this letter. It is with a heavy heart that I write. How is the princess? I am sure she has made you a happy man. You deserve her. How is your son, Jinecheren? Yes, your son, because I am not worthy to be a mother. I start from the beginning. My heart will not take it. I deserve all that happened to me. And you tried. You did try to make a good woman out of me. Oni, my first love. For all the love we shared, I beg for your forgiveness. Please, beg the princess for me, and as for our son, explain to him that I love him. I am truly sorry. My life has no meaning, and all I ask is for you all to pray for me. I am gone, never to return. Chimamanda Okori. I hope you find that in this. I'm sure you've forgiven her. 
skin. It's easy to just know what have you. 